He's Patti LaBelle's cousin. He's Jimi Hendrix influenced. And he's been a P Funk musician. Latin is fresh off a European tour with Jamal Thomas and the great Fred Wesley. Not only a vocalist, Batine is a multi-talented musician playing over seven instruments. With such a wide range of talent, he can be considered one of the world's top musicians. Batine is an accomplished entertainer that has performed across the U.S. and the world. His performances have taken him from Germany to South Africa, from Egypt to the Bahamas, and from Canada to Amsterdam. Batine has been an occasional member of Rock and Roll Hall of Fame legends Parliament Funkadelic, playing guitar, keyboards, saxophone, flute, and background vocals. Batine has served as music director of Otis Redding III, son of the late soul legend Otis Redding. Batine has performed in concerts with Roy Ayers, Ronnie Laws, Dave Brubeck, and James Brown. He has also headlined many festivals within the U.S. Batine's musical style is an appealing mixture of jazz, funk, R&B, and the blues. His debut album, Sunday Brunch, received critical acclaim in Ebony Magazine and the Pittsburgh Gazette. Television network TNT has used Batine's music in their NBA Playoffs program. His songs also soothe audiences watching CNN's in-flight programming on Delta Airlines. Batine's latest release, You Can't Lose With The Blues, explores his raw guitar technique and his Southern Baptist preacher style vocals. This album showcases Batine's innovative interpretation of blues standards. reflects indigenous music from his hometown of Macon and Middle Georgia, including influences from James Brown, Otis Redding, and Little Richard. Batine's music can be called groove jazz, and all of the tunes carry a signature that is Batine's own. I know a lot of musicians that play a lot of different instruments, but I don't know a lot of musicians that play all of them as well as Batu. Give it up for 